What's up, guys? It is Jeff and Jack. Why did I say your name first? Uh, I don't know. That makes no as, sense. As, as, a as a sign of respect. <laughs> <That's> a res <laughs> respect. Okay, sure. That's the word we'll use. Hey, we're doing a This Is in Crimson Alliance. This is Certain Affinity's brand new game, and uh, we are very, very excited because we're actually taking a little early look at this one, Jeff. Do you, uh, do you remember Certain Affinity's last game? Certain Affinity's last game was Halo 2 PC? No, 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 no. I mean, they've done a lot of map packs and stuff, but they did Age of Booty. Oh, did they? Yeah, great oh, nice. game. Great, great game. Yeah, that was a good game. Yep, I, I did not know that. I was all about that game. But yeah, we we love certain affinity. These guys are based out of here and uh, out of Austin, actually. They're not out of here. They're not in our office. They're, they have their <laughs> own office. I'm sure, it's lovely. One, one would assume they have their own <laughs> office. But uh, yeah, so this game is coming out on uh, next week. Actually, it's what September something seventh, I believe. Yeah, so it's going to be coming seventh. out on the seventh. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got an early look at it because they they're awesome. And uh, they actually announced uh, Crimson Alliance at RTX this year, which was our big fan event. That's true, they did. And uh, so we're very very proud to actually show this game to you guys, and we're very very happy for them to actually have it out. It's almost like we made it ourselves and not them. Yes, it's almost like it's our game. There and they're just taking credit for it. I know. <laughs> well, <laughs> in this case, I'm going to go ahead and let them have the credit for okay, it. Okay, that's fine. All right, so uh, yeah, so the game is a uh, it's like an action RPG, kind of like Gauntlet meets uh, what what are they, like Diablo, Diablo, Torchlight, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's top down, top down dungeon crawler. It's it's a lot of fun. Um, there's you know three different classes you can pick from. There's the mercenary, the wizard, and the assassin. And uh, what, uh, what I'm, I'm gonna guess you picked wizard. I picked wizard. Yeah, I'm you, ranged. You've got wizard all over you. I, what? What does that I, mean? It's just written all over you. You're you're a wizardy kind of guy. You've got wizard all over you. That sounds <laughs> terrible. But uh, yeah, so I, I like the ranged like DPS type classes. Uh huh. I'm not a I'm not a get up close and stab someone type. That's person. when you assume the fetal position, right? Yes, that's when I <laughs> start crying and sucking on my thumb. But, uh, yeah, so the game's a lot of fun. I've had a chance to play it, and it's uh, four players. You can do four players locally over Xbox Live. And uh, you want to go through some of the achievements, Let's Jeff? do it. All right, so let's start out with Big Bang Theory, which is uh, kill 25 enemies with a with an explosive barrel in a single level. And uh, those explosive barrels are like they're, they're typical red barrels. You, you can actually pick them up and throw them at people, too. Can I ask you a question? What's that? Why is it the rule, and I'm not complaining about it, but it's, 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 it seems to be a hard and fast video game rule that if a barrel is going to explode, it has to be red. Pretty much, yeah. It's a trope, right? Is that what the, yeah, that the term that's is? Yeah, a trope. It's a it's gaming a, trope. A gaming trope. There you go. Uh, okay, how about this? Um, oh, and I also don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know the answer to that question. This kind of have to. All right, so I have the power for 10 Gamer Score. Unleash your ultimate attack. Wasn't that, uh, isn't that what Bruce Leroy said? You know Bruce, that movie? Bruce Leroy. You ever saw that movie? I did not see that movie. I Maybe. Know. Yeah. Anyway. I'm thinking more. Might be before your time. I'm thinking it's more Masters of the Universe. It might, might also be Masters of the Universe. <laughs> and uh, I'm not dead yet for 20 gamer score. Revive yourself while playing alone. That's uh, the Monty Python quote. I wonder if we can actually get all these correct this time. As Probably not. Messing with people. Um, so I guess you can revive yourself. I, I have yet to die. I only played the first level oh, when I played so through good. this. I am so good at this. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, I guess I'll have to let myself die. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, uh, so maxed out, maxed out any character stat. So you have a whole bunch of different things you can go through and add on to it. And so uh, that's is like personality a character stat? It is. That's good. That's, that's one charisma. Charisma. Not no. That's actually you're that might like, actually be in the game. You're like the brother I never had. All right, rampage stat. for ten gamer score. <laughs> what? You know, best friend mode. Oh, okay. Uh, rampage for ten gamer score. Achieve a score multiplier of at least eight x. On at least normal difficulty, um, yeah. So basically, as you kill people, like your score multiplier increases, and so as long as you don't get as long as you don't get hit, that in, that will keep going up. Okay. So you have to just let it keep going and going and going. Like this video. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, horny devil. So these next few are all uh, these are going to be like your sort of uh, playthrough, your uh, progression one. So defeat Gash Gasha Dukuro, dude. That was Gasha Dukuro. That was fun to watch. Ga Gasha Dukuro. The Death Knight. Gasha Dokoro. This is called G. Call him <laughs> Defeat G, the Death Knight. Who would name their kid Gasha Dokoro? Uh you know, a proud parent, I guess. Man, you think like his like his, his elementary school teachers were like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh G, are you here? Is he here? Did anybody see G? Alright, now bring out your dead, complete requiem, which nice. is another progression one. And Soul Survivor, defeat the Soul Siren. I don't know what order those go in, because I haven't made it that far in yet, but uh, let's move on to go for the gold. This one looks like it could be the hardest one in the game. Earn a gold medal or battle better in every main campaign level on at least normal difficulty. So this is the only like difficulty based sort of achievement. In the yeah, game, yeah. Right? There's no like defeat the game on hard or anything okay. like that. Um, but there is this. So basically, you get points based on how quick you go, how uh, much damage you take, and how much damage you give out. Okay. And it, like it'll score you based on that. So it's like a matter of moving through quick and you know how you use your class and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So 
It's not easy. I think I got a, a bronze on my first attempt through. So, but I was also going really slow looking for secret areas, stuff like that. And then uh, three peat, earn a gold medal on the fall of mm -hmm. Bison with uh, each character class. So you've got to do it at least three times. Isn't uh, isn't three peat? Uh, isn't that trademarked? I wonder if they had to pay for that. Is it? Is it trademarked? I think it might be. No. Yeah, I think no. what's his face trademarked it. Jordan? No, 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 no. Uh, uh, Pippin. The announcer. Uh, what's Michael his name? Buffer. Yes, Michael Buffer. <laughs> no. Who? Uh, the guy that got the guy that was uh, had the sex scandal and was biting people. Marv Albert. Yeah. God, why do I know that? <laughs> why wouldn't you know that? <laughs> you know your sex scandals. I do. I do clearly. All right. So Soul Hoarder for twenty gamer score. Find and collect all thirty three Soul Anchors, and those are like those will give you boosts and stuff, and like uh, special things. Is and that they're, they're gonna be for when you go soul sailing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you, if you want to, like, when you're done for the night, you throw your soul anchor down. Yeah. And you take a soul nap. Do some soul fishing, maybe. <laughs> Eat some soul food with your soul fish. Hey All right, special delivery for 20 gamer scores. Here we are, last one. Carried the present out of out of Palace of Death on at least hard difficulty. So, oh, shit. I was wrong. There's another difficulty. Yeah, Space so uh, this one, it sounds like it's going to be like the uh, the gnome achievement. Or it uh, wasn't an achievement. Or I guess it was an yeah, achievement. Yeah, Noam Chomsky the, achievement. Yeah, the Noam Chomsky one. So it looks like you have to carry something out of the Palace of Death, which sounds like a lovely place yeah. to visit. This time of year, it's probably uh, the weather there is probably a little bit nicer than it is in Austin right now. But anyway, that's all of the achievements in Crimson Alliance. The game's coming out next week, uh, or you know, or is out depending on when you're watching this video. And uh, it's it's fantastic. Like I've I've played it a little bit. I'm looking forward to playing it some more. It's very pretty. It is. It is. But it's a gorgeous uh, game. Check out achievementhunter.com. We're gonna be doing all kinds of guides for this game and uh, showing it off and doing streaming and several sure giveaways and other fun stuff like that. So. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and I know I enjoyed it. Jack, I've had a lovely time. I've had a lovely time, too, Jeffrey. Yeah. All right, have a good day.